Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. If you've not been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back to the channel. Your support means so, so much to me. Um, so today's video is going up slightly later than I'd planned. I had a bit of technical problems with the camera last night, so I had to fix that and then the external light went out. Um, so yeah. It's Tuesday as I film this, so it will be going up today. Normally I do post my Shop My Stash weekly reviews on Monday and then I'll post a weekly Shop My Stash on Wednesday. So this for this week only, it will be Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesday the weekly Shop My Stash review will go up and then Thursday the new weekly Shop My Stash and inventory roulette will go up. Um, I'm sorry about that, but it couldn't be helped. So, like I said, this is my weekly Shop My Stash review where I go through all my products that I used for the coming week and decide whether I want to declutter any of the makeup that's in my collection. So I'm not going to talk too much in the intro because these videos can drag on a little bit and not everyone wants to watch, like, a 40-minute video. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be not too long for you guys um so yeah let's go into my everyday makeup drawer and vanity so you can see what i've been using right so as always we'll start off with the eyeshadow palettes so this is it's not new um i've found it again in like in my room um and i thought this one would do me a little bit better than the letter holder that i was doing um i got this from tk maxx a long time ago can't even remember when does it tell me what Sometimes I, I don't take prices off things. Yeah, it was seven ninety nine from TK Maxx. And the reason I don't take prices off things is because they leave things sticky. Um, right, so let's go through it. So we'll go through this front. So this, as you know, if you if you've watched my shop, my stashes before, I always use. Um, so it just looks like that and I use the transition shades but also that silver is good for an inner corner highlight which I've not used this week. Um, I've used the transition shade, the middle shade um, and I used that one, the darker shade once. This, I'm still yet to do a video on it. I want to get a mascara and I'm, I'm still waiting to get the mascara. I went into my local wool car a few days ago now and they didn't have the Lash Princess mascara. Not the waterproof one or the um, normal one. I think I'll go down to the retail park and see if they've got it there. Maybe on Friday. Um, and do this at the weekend. My... Um, video on all the essence products get ready with me using this palette I do still want to do that free looks one palette um, video as well so there's quite a lot to be getting along with it's just such a beautiful palette all I've done so far is swatch it so it will really be a first impressions video when I actually get around to doing it then we've also got this Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. It is stunning, guys. Um, everyone knows what this looks like. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this palette. Again, I've not used this. So this is de definitely staying in for another round. Like the Essence Gide Sydney one is. So, at the back of that um, is this Too Faced sorry revolution kind of kiss of fire and i've nearly used every shade in this palette i've been focusing on this palette more than any other in my collection um so yeah today i've got that all over the sorry about the lipstick i've got that all over the eyes and it's the highlighter and it looks amazing um on your eyelids so if you've not thought about trying it on your eyes I would suggest trying that if you've got this palette. It's in the shade Flash Me. So the only shade um, I haven't really tried is this Morning Call um, and this, what's that one called? My Fair Lady. But to be honest, I don't really like that My Fair Lady shade. I prefer that shade, which is called, is it Valeria? Yeah, I prefer that shade. So I'm not even going to bother with that. 
and I've not used black and that's just because I don't use blacks so I'm just going to use this morning call one probably probably tomorrow and then I'm going to be done with this palette and it can go back and then I can do the revolution um, best to worst sorry worst to best um, collaborations that I've got in my collection I think there's like five or six palettes so there's not much so it won't be an, a really intense video but I'd like to do it and share my thoughts right then we've got this um, this was the Becca and Jacqueline Hill palette well I'll say it was I've still got it I've got some exciting news on this as well let me just open it up and show you guys look at that I've hit baby pan and I was on Instagram the other day and I can't remember her username but the woman had done so so good on this palette she'd basically got rid of this altogether. I've never actually gone through any kind of highlighter I know it's not a massive highlighter but the fact that I'm starting to hit pan actually I have gone through a highlighter in my Smashbox palette um, I forgot about that but yeah this is another one that I'm gonna try and use up um, so I've started mixing them recently because that is just too gold for me but if I mix them it's slightly better it's can you I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it is slightly better if I mix them um, and then the girl um, has actually used quite a lot of this I think it was actually gone and then she was using this and um, most of that were gone and she was saying it might take her a while to get through that but she's planning on doing that as well and I had such admiration for her in the fact that she used all this palette up because it is an older palette and obviously um, it does need to be used up so yeah I absolutely love this palette though it is stunning um, and I'm so so glad that I've started to hit pen and then on at it. the back of that is just this Revolution HD powder contour palette now I normally wouldn't use this but my inventory roulette um, told me to use it basically pretty random told me to use it so it pulled this out for the week and I really really like it guys I knew I liked it um, but I've not used it in such a long time so I was using this contour and then I chiseled it out with this powder really really nice and sometimes I mix those two together I just love it um, but it will be going back because I do want to use that Imagination palette up um, so that's everything in that little, that little holder there then like I'll just show you this so we've got this lipstick that pretty random pulled out for me as well I've not used this yet so I do need to use this in the next couple of days I might just use it for the next couple of days because pretty random also pulled this one out for me um, so that's the wet and wild in wine room and I've used this quite a bit so I don't really need to use that anymore that can go back in the collection um, when I do my new weekly makeup stash and if I just use this a couple of times as well and get some use out of it it's in the shade light brown if you're interested um, so let's put these back right so now we're going into the everyday makeup drawer so obviously all these are going to stay in I'm not going to talk too much about it because I've spoke about it in last week's um, weekly shop my stash I'm going to put that here somewhere so these are all my essence products that I'm going to be using with my obviously essence G'day Sydney eyeshadow palette so yeah I won't talk too much about that so this highlighter I've only used like one or two times so I'll probably keep it in for another week this Laura Geller one um, I've used a few times and I'm still not 100% sure on it I'm going to keep it in the collection just for now um, it's in the shade Peach Glow I still think it may be a little bit too dark but I can mix it with other highlighters to make it a little bit lighter um, which is a bit extra but that again is another expensive product this Max Factor blush needs to be used 
I'll probably use this for the next couple of days just to see what my opinions are on it because I've not used it yet so far. Um, so this is the Cream Puff Blush in Nude Mauve. I have used this quite a lot. I think I want to, to keep this in for another week, guys. I absolutely love this Hourglass Blush and it is in the shade Luminous Flush. I mean, how pretty is that, guys? Honestly, it is so, so nice. Um, yeah, let's do a little finger swatch. I don't know. These don't really tend to show up that much because they're not really that pigmented, but that's the shade that it's really really nice and it's just a travel size um but it's they're quite big these travel sizes it doesn't really tell me how much product i get but i can have a look online and let you know about that but yeah um I, <coughs> excuse me i think i got this from cult beauty if you live in the uk and um, you can buy them there um, so yeah really really like that saves you spending a massive fortune for the full size ones and I don't tend to go through blushes that much just because you're not using a great deal um, whereas highlighters I tend to get carried away a little bit and that's why I go through them quicker so we've got this revolution blush in the shade tree I've still not used this yet either so that potentially could get carried away carried away carried on to another week um then we've got this Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush this got pulled out for my um from my inventory inventory as well um so that will be going back I have used it quite a bit and I forgot guys how pigmented this blush was um I went way way too much on this and ended up looking like a clown um so yeah and then the next day I just was like right only a little bit Andrea just use a little bit um, but yeah it's so so gorgeous so that's that it's really really luminous I love luminous blushes and then I've got this cargo bronzer it's just the cargo matte bronzer that they do I don't know if I'm going to keep this in my collection I'm going to keep it in there for now um, but then when the next rotation comes round, if I really don't like it, I'll put uh, next time I use it, I'm just gonna use this as a bronzer where I was using the Revolution Contour last time. So I only really got to use this like two, maybe three times. Um but when I did, like the first time I used it, it looked red toned and I, I'm not about red toned um bronzers. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna declutter it. So that's everything in there that we've just spoken about. Then I've got this Essence But First Espresso Eyeliner. It's my favourite. I'm not really using black eyeliners at the moment, guys. I just find them too harsh. And this one is in my Project Pan, so that really needs to go there. So this is the mascara that I'm using on top of my Perversion one. So this is the... False Lashes Concentrate Lengthening Top Coat Mascara and it just gives you that false lash eye effect. Um, normally I would use it with this one but as I've said in numerous videos now this has dried up completely and that's because I left it so long for me to use them and that's completely my bad. Um, but I, I wanted to use the minis before I got to the full size mascaras. So this is the extra extra sculpt waterproof mascara guys this is a holy grail with um with that there and um, them two together are dynamite um so yeah really really like them together and i do need to get that blue one that ultra sculpt what's it called extra sculpt waterproof mascara i need to get another one of them i'm gonna wait till the sale though this one is still good um but once i get the essence one this one is going to get decluttered just because it is getting older and is drying up a little bit so this is the urban decay perversion uh, bigger blacker badder and it does actually pair really well with this but i think any mascara would pair well with this to be honest so yeah that's them 
all this is my project pans so I don't want to go into too much detail with that just because I will be doing a project pan update at the end of November then we've got these products here which I've not used so Solstice, um, Urban Decay, Savage then there's a Kiko gold eyeshadow there I use this on the daily you can see how much pan I've hit and this isn't even in a project um, so yeah I'm really impressed with that and then there's just a few more products in here that always tend to stay in then we've got all my kind of face products it's a bit of a mishmash here so we've got the Essence Fresh and Fit Healthy Glow I did use this once this week um, even though I didn't use my obviously my Essence products I just wanted to use it um, and have like a glowy glowy face then we've got this um, PS Beauty Strobing Highlighter Cream in the shade Pearl um, so that will probably be going back um, on Wednesday then we've got this Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder in the shade 1 still don't like this I find that it leaves my eyes under eye area dry um, but I do want to use it up because it is an expensive product and then we've got the Rimmel Match Perfection Silk Loose, Silky Loose Powder um, and I really really do like that one it's a great drugstore option um, I've also got this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow this is the only foundation I have from Essence so that will be getting used in the Essence video I've really been enjoying using this PS Beauty My Perfect Colour Longwear Ultimate Matte Foundation and this is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, so yeah I've been really enjoying it I don't think there's too much left you can't really see it though yeah I don't think there's too much left in this um, so yeah I'll, I'll be using that up that's in the shade porcelain by the way um, and I think the essence one is in the shade fresh ivory which is slightly a little bit dark so I might have to mix it with another foundation um, but yeah whoops um, but yeah I really really like using this so I've got a couple more days to use that this one um, will probably stay in because I didn't use this at all this week so this is the Bourjois City Radiance Brightening Effect Foundation really really like that this one always stays in um, it's just part of my skincare, which is the Body Shop Vitamin C Instant Glow Enhancer, um, along with this moisturiser, which is the Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturising Day Cream, 24 hour moisture boost and refresh. That is a mouthful, um, but yeah, I've been enjoying using that. Then we have this Prime Time. As you can see, there's not many more uses in it. I have been using this quite a lot this week, so that'll probably it might be out by Wednesday. That I've been using this Essence Eye Heart Stage um, Eyeshadow Base. That'll probably stay in for another week, just because it is an Essence product, and I'll need to do that Essence video. Um, and then we've got the. Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer which will be staying in then the last one in this face like drawer here sorry face plastic container we've got the Collection Lasting Perfection 16 hour concealer I can you see the window in that I've nearly like just used all of it up I took the um, stopper out I took that up at, at let's start again I took the stopper out a few weeks ago so yeah I am really getting to the last bits of the foundation uh, sorry the last bits of the concealer um, so that will be out of the collection soon and be put in empties so I've just got my Cinderella Sleeping Beauty bag there my Garnier Skincare Hydro Bomb Tissue Mask there still not used and I've not used them I think I'm gonna do it like a pamper day at the weekend and use all these up 
and then I've got the tea tree deep cleansing nose pore strip there um, so yeah I definitely need to use that soon starting to get like spots on the like, inner corner where my glasses have been um, and then there's this last product so it's the L'Oreal blush sculpt last week I said that it might be getting decluttered and I think I will get uh, I think I will declutter it from the collection. I've got lots of blushes and highlights. I don't need to keep this in the collection. Um, so yeah, let's move that out. I'll move that out on Wednesday. So I'll keep it in this drawer for now. But yeah, this is everything. Um, so those products are just going to go back in for now um, and this is what the drawer looks like most of it normally is in my makeup bag um, in the bathroom so there's nev it's never this full yeah it's never really this full um, so yeah this is what it looks like Oh yeah, and then this here is my Nivea Daily Essentials 24 hour moisture and express primer gel cream. I cannot rave about this enough. It is beautiful um, and it's great if you've got dry skin. Um, and even great if you don't and you just want that boost of moisturiser. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, this is everything that's in my everyday makeup drawer. I can't wait to swap it out and also shop my inventory as well on Wednesday. So I guess I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. Sorry, I'll see you on Thursday this week, not Wednesday. Um, thank you for watching again it really does mean a lot to me if you've not subscribed please hit that subscribe notification button um it tells you when i upload my videos i upload mondays wednesday yeah mondays wednesdays and fridays normally um but obviously the first video of the week this week will be going up tuesday thursday and probably the other video will go up Saturday, just leaving a couple of days apart. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you've not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and notifications bell um, and become part of my little fam. I would love to have you here. It would mean so, so much to me. And I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye.